What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. We have to find the angle between vectors A and B for each scenario below. And we're going to challenge ourselves not to use a calculator for parts A and C. So in part A, we're given the magnitude of A is 2, magnitude of B is 4, and the, uh, the dot product between A and B is negative 4 root 3. So we're going to be using the formula where the dot product between two vectors is the magnitude of one of the vectors times the magnitude of the other vector times cos theta. And then notice that we can sub in everything in this equation and solve for the theta. So we know the dot product, negative 4 root 3. The magnitude of A is 2. Magnitude of B is 4. We're going to solve for cos theta. So 2 times 4 is 8, so notice we can divide both sides by 8 to get that cos theta by itself. And then negative 4 over 8, that uh, simplifies to negative 1 over 2, so we'd have negative root 3 over 2 equals cos theta. And when does cos theta equal negative root 3 over 2? Well, we can't use a calculator for this. So if you remember, we got to do the cast rule. Where is cos going to be negative? It's going to be negative in this quadrant. Also in this quad quadrant, the tan quadrant, the third quadrant, but let's just work with this quadrant for now. Now cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, adjacent, that's the opposite side. And then what's the reference angle going to be? It's going to be 30 degrees. Right? This is a special triangle, this is 30 degrees, so that means that this angle here is going to be 150, 180 degrees minus that reference angle of 30. So basically the answer to this is 150 degrees. That is going to be the angle between the two vectors. Now notice that we could have also drew a triangle here and the tan quadrant. This would be 2, this would be negative 1, and then the reference angle would still be 30, so the main angle would be 210, 180 plus 30. And if you think about it, that makes sense, because let's say that we draw these vectors out, A and B, so let's say vector A is here, and then if there's an angle of 150 degrees between them, then maybe vector B is going to be right there. So that's going to be 150 degrees? Well, that's also the same if we go the other way as 210 degrees. So 150 degrees or 210 degrees would be an answer for part A, but usually you just take the smaller angle, 150 degrees. Right? So that is the answer for part A. 150 degrees is the angle between the two vectors. Moving on to part B. Now, part B, same thing. We got the dot product, 41, equals the magnitude of A, which is 7, times the magnitude of B, which is 2, times cos theta. And then 7 times 2 is 14. Divide both sides by 14. So cos theta is going to be 41 over 14. But notice that cos theta can only be between negative 1 and 1. 41 over 14 is greater than 1. So for this, there's actually no solution. So this actually can happen. You can have a dot product with uh, 41 where the magnitudes of the two vectors are 7 and 2. And we prove that because this formula can't hold because this part can only be between negative 1 and positive 1. So this part B here, is not going to be possible. So we actually didn't need a calculator for part B either. And then finally part C, we got um, A is a unit vector, so we know the magnitude of A is going to be 1. B we're given in component form, so we're going to have to figure out what the magnitude of B is. So let's actually do that over here. So the magnitude of B would be the square root of negative 7 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 4 squared. And then that would be 49, 50, 
and then uh, 16. So this would be root 66. So now we could plug everything into the formula. So notice that a dot b is given as negative root 33. And then the magnitude of a is 1. It's a unit vector. Magnitude of b is root 66. And we got cos theta. So dividing both sides by root 66, so cos theta is negative root 33 over root 66. And we can divide both of these roots. Another thing we can do is we could take uh, negative root 33 over, split this root up into uh, root 2 times root 33. And then the root 33s cancel out. So basically we're solving when does cos theta equal negative 1 over root 2. So what we can do is uh, we can use the cast rule for this again. Uh, so let's actually do that up here. So when does cos theta equal negative 1 over root 2? Which quadrant is that going to happen in? Well, it's going to be negative in the sine quadrant and also the tan quadrant. And negative 1 over root 2, we know the reference angle is going to be 45 for both of these. So the main angle is going to be either 135 or it's going to be 225 degrees. So either answer works for this. And usually you take the smaller angle like we did in part A. So the answer for part C is that the angle between the vectors is going to be 135 degrees. And those are your finer, uh, final answers. So theta is 150 degrees for part A, part B is not possible, and then part C, the angle is 135 degrees.